Good evening. Good evening, Thessaloniki. I apologize. I'm from Canada. I can't speak Greek, but I trust there's some people that understand English. I want to say a couple of things. We're living in what the Bible says are perilous times. The Bible describes time that will come upon the earth in the last days. The last days before Jesus Christ returns. We're living in those days. All the signs are here. This problem with COVID, Green Pass, all these things, these are all signs of the times that we're living in that Jesus Christ is coming again. And many of us know about Jesus, but I want to ask you tonight, do you know Him personally? Because Jesus Christ is alive. He came to this world 2,021 years ago, the Son of God, the perfect Lamb of God, the only perfect one, the only perfect one that's ever lived. He preached, He taught, He did miracles. At the end of his life, at 33 years old, he went on the cross, he died, he was buried, and on the third day he rose to life. And Jesus is alive to this very day. But why did Jesus have to die? The Bible says that he died for our sins. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Each and every one of us before our holy God, we have all sinned against him in some way or another. There's nobody that's any better than anybody else. We have all sinned against God. We all need his mercy, his grace, and his forgiveness. And this is why Jesus came. He is alive. He wants to know each and every one of us. Salvation is a gift by grace through faith. It's not of works. When we believe in Jesus Christ, that He is Lord, that He is the Son of God, that He is alive, we can have forgiveness, we can have salvation, we can have eternal life. The Bible says God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So again, do you know Jesus? Because He is a personal God. We can come to know Him experientially. We go to church, sometimes we learn about the things of God, but have you got on your knees before Him and asked Him, Jesus, save me, forgive me for my sins? Because He's the only Savior, He's the only way to go to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life, nobody comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said that He's the only way to God and there is no other, there is no other religion that saves. There is no other person that saves. It's at the name of Jesus that we have salvation. So I pray that you would know Him. Call upon the name of the Lord and the Bible says you shall be saved. He is alive. He is waiting for us to call upon His name. And finally in my life at 37 years old, in 2014, I came to know Him. Where my head knowledge became heart knowledge, and I know that this is the truth. And death is not your end when you believe in Jesus Christ. And we have a lot of people living in fear right now because of COVID and all these things, but God has not given a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. God does not want us to fear. He wants us to trust in Him because He is in control, and Jesus Christ is coming again. The Bible said He would come the first time, and He came, and the Bible says He will come the second time. And we're living in the last days before He comes. The second time He comes, He will not come as a baby. He will not come to sacrifice Himself. He will come to save His people, but He will come to judge this world in righteousness. The side of Him that we find ourselves on depends on what we do with Him here and now today in this life. We can come to know Jesus Christ as Lord, receive salvation, which is a gift by grace through faith. And if we don't receive the gift that God has extended to us, He will be the judge. Jesus Christ is the judge of the whole world and the only reason why He's worthy to judge is because He gave His life for each and every one of us on the cross that day. On the cross, Jesus said, it is finished before He died. That means He's done everything required to get us right with His Father. And when we believe in Him, we can be sure that we have eternal life, we have a place in the Kingdom of God that is coming. And you can be a part of it today by grace through faith, by putting your trust in Him. You don't need me to do that. You can go home tonight, get on your knees and pray and ask Him to come into your life and be Lord. God bless you. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name. And if you have any questions, feel free, unless you're getting on the bus. God bless you. Take care. Hello, oh, sorry. Wow. I put my mask on if you want. How are you? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Glory, glory to God. I am praying for someone to fix in this place and God answered it. Okay, I guess God answered your prayer. I appreciate your boldness.
What's that? I appreciate your boldness. I'm uh, I'm from Toronto, Canada, but I live in Italy now. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Philippines, but I stay here for a long okay, time. Okay. What's your name? Loena. Loena? Yes. Nice to meet you, Loena. You. Carmen, Carmelo. Yeah. God nice to meet you. you. Thank you for the encouragement. Yes. God bless. Because uh, two days ago, I saw people, a lot of people here, yeah. and I said. That someone quits because <laughs> I don't have that so goodness. All right. And I saw you. Oh, God. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, yeah. Glory to God. Even Glory though to... they don't understand. Yeah, I'm only here for today and then tomorrow I'm leaving, but oh. maybe one day I'll come back to Thessalonica. I've been here, this is my second time here. Yes. But uh, but I'm in Europe. I live in, in Europe now. I moved from yes. uh, from Canada to Europe. So yes. God knows, maybe I'll come back here someday soon, hopefully. Oh, your name Carmelo. Yes. So it's so related with uh, Mount Carmel of uh, Elijah. Carmel, I, I think so. I never realized that until after after I came to know the Lord that my name is after Carmel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's nice. I really appreciate your boldness. Thank you. Home. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, there is a harvest here, but uh, it needs uh, uh, boldness. More laborers. Yes. 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 There are lots of uh, also uh, workers over there, but yeah. sometimes boldness. Yes. Yes. And yes. you need the Holy Spirit to yeah. to do anything. Yes. <laughs> because yes. we don't we can't do nothing without him. Yes. 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 So you are from Toronto, Canada. Yes, but I'm currently living in Italy. Ah, and uh, I took a little bit of a tour, so this yes. was my last stop, and I'm going back to Italy starting tomorrow. I'm going to start heading oh, back. Yeah. So God yeah. bless you. Yeah. I really yeah. bless you. Yeah. So, uh, for, if you if you don't mind, can you say it? Where church you're going? A prayer? Church, church. Oh, the church? Yes. I go to a church right now in uh, Pacino, Sicily. It's called Palora de la Verita, which means Word of Truth. Yes. That's where I attend right now as I live in Italy. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. so, yes. but uh, how many years you are living in Christ? Um, seven years. Seven, seven years. years. That I've truly come to repentance. I, I knew about the gospel most of my life, but it was seven years ago that I truly came to repentance. Yeah. yeah. By the grace of God. Yeah. God bless you, brother. God bless you. I, I really appreciate okay. it. Okay, all right. God Continue bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Pray for me. Yes. <laughs> How's it going? How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? Tassos. Tassos. My name is Tassios. Yes, Tassios. My name is Carmelo. Are you okay with this? or? Yeah. Okay, okay. Hello. Yeah. Hello. And uh, yeah, no, I. Son. Are you an Orthodox Christian or a Protestant? I believe Which? Jesus is Lord. The Bible is the Word of God, mm -hmm. and that's what gives us salvation. And I believe that there is believers within every denomination, and uh, you know there's some different peripheral understanding. But at the end of the day, salvation comes through Christ and Christ alone. And um, I don't identify with any particular denomination oh. because um, the first time that I read the Bible for myself, I saw that when the church started, it was one. Yeah, and uh, then it split up into all these different understandings. But I believe at the end of the day, it's going to be one before Jesus returns and he's bringing his church. Yeah, and, and the church is not so much the building, it's the believer that, uh, you know, in exactly. Jesus' day, they, they met under trees, they met in houses. This is the church. They were the persecuted. Yes. Yes. Hello. You, Hello. you remember you us? Remember? Yes, yes, I remember you from yesterday. Yes. Yes. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I told you, you have to pray every day and ask God to find you some work. And you're a strong young man and God will find work when we have the desire. You know? Need meal, something. You have you something uh, here for us? I helped you yesterday, I right? No. For us. How, what did you do today? What? Did, no, I'm. I'm asking. What did you do today? Sorry. What did you do all day today? Did you try to find some work? Yes, I'm going. I try. I try. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't speak very good English. Yes. 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 Here. Thank okay. you very much. You need to pray and ask God to help you to find some work. You need to work. Yes. Okay. You're a young man. Yes, You're strong. Yes. You have a wife. You have a baby, right? Yes. Okay. You need to pray and ask God help to find some work. 
Okay. Mister, can I tell you something? Yes. When I hear you, my heart is uh, relaxing. Mm. Uh, you calming me down. Okay. You're like an angel. You're like an angel. I am I, not an angel. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. you for the compliment. God bless you. God, He loves you. And as we look to Him, read the Bible, He speaks to us, pray, speak to Him. And as we have a desire to do what He wants us to do, He will give us everything we need. So that means you gotta try to find some work to do so you can help your wife. And uh, remember me, follow uh, your name. Carmelo. Carmelo, Carmelo. Kiriakos, yeah. Marilena. Mary, 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 Mary Elena. Nice Thank to meet you. Carmelo. God Thank bless you. you. God bless you. God bless you. Too. Okay. okay. Right. All right. I, 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 I hope uh, you angel. You like like Not an me. angel. You like an angel. Maybe that's the Holy Spirit because when we believe in Holy Jesus, Spirit. we have the Holy Spirit, yes. and that is what maybe Strength you sense. Holy Spirit. Yes. God bless you. God bless God you. Bless. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Glory Thank to you God. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yes. How so, come you visited Grace? How from, come? Uh, Canada. Uh, how no, come I, I, I originally from Canada, but I moved to Italy uh, in March. Uh -huh. So I live in Italy right now and I took a little trip around Europe. So I uh, went up through Italy um, to Rome and mm -hmm. some other places. I went to uh, Croatia. Um, Serbia, uh, Romania, Bulgaria, the Balkans. Yeah, I went all those places, and um, I'm on my way back home now. So I, coming through Greece. From Romania, uh, uh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Was my, I was in Bulgaria yesterday morning, and I came here, and I'm going back towards Italy. So I just stay in here for this day, and then tomorrow I'm going to continue on to go towards Italy. How was your trip? Uh, Beautiful. What, what did you find? Uh, Beautiful by the grace of God. I went around doing this preaching, talking to people, many, many different encounters. And uh, God <laughs> always does something amazing. Yeah, I, um, let me see something. I have something that I usually give to people, but I don't have any Greek ones. I give you an Italian one. And uh, my Facebook and my YouTube are on the back there. And you can see some videos and some mm -hmm. encounters with people that I had on, uh, on my trip. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. And I preach the gospel. I preach Jesus Christ, the Son of God. A, you have like a... What's that? What do you do for a living? This is it. That's... Uh, you're a preacher. This is it. I uh, left like, my work in 2016. Like a priest or... Um... Well, I wouldn't say that I'm a priest. Um, I just want to serve God with my life. And I felt Him tell me 2016 to leave my work. So I left. It was a difficult decision to make. And uh, yeah, and um, I started um, just following him step by step, and it's just been a few years now that um, I've been I've been preaching, and God makes the way. He makes the way, and He continues to provide. It takes faith because uh, I don't I don't get a regular paycheck <laughs> like I used to. So, so um, you know. Um, I'm just trying to trust that God will continue to make the way for me, and um, and He has been, you know. So this is it. Yeah. Thank you for your uh, time. No, thank you, thank you. God Have bless a good you. Trip you back too. To God bless you. Thank you. And sorry, remind me your names one more time. Anastasios. Anastasios. Constantina. Constantina. Carmelo. Nice to my, meet you. My name means uh, resurrection. Okay, Anastasios. The resurrection of uh, Jesus Christ. All right, all right. That's what uh, it stands for. All right, well, uh, glory to God. My name celebrates that thing. Amen, amen. <laughs> well, that's good. So maybe the Lord has a calling on your life. You never know. Yes, He has a calling on everybody's life. But it means to go with His will rather than our own. Because even now, sometimes I want to do what I want to do, but God says, no, go do this. But when we do God's will, we're fulfilling what He's made us to be. And, and, and this is where we find true... And things work out that way, yeah. eventually. Yeah, we find fulfillment in Christ. Because Christ, Christos, He was the only one that completely surrendered to the Father's will. Yeah. Right to the death, right? And as we believe in Him, we receive the Holy Spirit, and we are now enabled to follow after His footsteps. And be saved. And be saved, that's it. This is it. We want eternal life.
because God so loved the world, He gave His only Son. Whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the promise. That's the gift of God. Yes. Yes. God bless have you. A good trip. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. Good evening. I'm here. My name is Carmelo. I'm sorry I don't speak Greek, but I trust that many of you understand English. And I'm here to speak about, continue to speak about the things of God. Salvation that comes through Jesus Christ, the gift that God has extended. The gift that God has extended to each and every one of us. And that's what the Bible says. The Bible says that salvation is a gift that's extended to us by grace through faith. It's not of works that any man might boast. We can't do enough good deeds to get right with God. It's only one sacrifice that God accepts when we believe in His Son. The sacrifice that He made. Jesus Christos. He died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins. He was buried and on the third day He rose again. And He is alive. And the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised them from the dead, you shall be saved. Salvation is this gift that God has extended to us when we believe in the gospel of His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus, when He walked the earth, He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said that nobody, nobody goes to the Father except through Him. Jesus said that He is the only way to God and there is no other. The Bible is the Word of God. Many times we trust other people to tell us what the Bible says. But we need to read the Bible. This is the Word of God that He has given for us to read. And I will understand that it's a difficult book to understand sometimes, but God gives us the understanding when we humble ourselves before Him. When we pray and say, God, help me to understand what this book says. Because these are the words of life that God has given to us. And the Bible was originally written in Greek, Hebrew, Aramaic. Mine is in English. But men, many, of the, many of the Bible passages were written in Greek. Thessaloniki was the place of a very, very strong church in the days of Paul, Pablo. And he wrote letters to the church at Thessaloniki. And he talked about what would happen in the last days. He talked about these days that we're living in right now. But many of us, we don't even know about the letters of Paul. We haven't read the letters of Paul. Paul gave many prophecies that he said would come. He said before the day of Christ comes, he said that somebody would come to power in the earth. The Bible calls him the man of sin or the son of perdition. And this man is also known as the Antichrist. And it says that this man will come to power in the world in the last days. And he will make everybody take a mark in their right hand or in their forehead or they won't be able to buy or sell at the stores. This is what the Bible says 2,000 years ago. Now we have green pass. Now you can't sit down at the restaurant unless you're vaccinated. The Bible says all these things would happen. Because the Bible is the truth. The Bible is the Word of God. And God knows the end from the beginning. But God tells us these things not to fear. He tells us these things so we can trust in Him. So we can trust that His Word is true. And we can understand that Jesus Christ is coming again. And He is coming to save His people. Those that put their trust in Him. But He will come to judge His enemies. He will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus Christos? He is alive. He loves you. He gave His life on the cross to save each and every one of us that would believe in Him. If you believe in Him for the sacrifice that He made, that He paid for your sins in full, and that He is alive, the Bible says you can have salvation. You can have that gift that God has extended to each and every one of us. It's by grace through faith. So call upon the name of the Lord, Jesus, and the Bible says that you shall be saved. It says that salvation comes in no other name. There's only one name given among men whereby we can be saved. It's the name of Jesus, Jesus Christos, that brings salvation. And each one of us, we need to be saved when we stand before God. God is holy. God is righteous. God is just. And the Bible says that He will by no means leave the guilty unpunished. If you've told a lie, that means that there's judgment from God that's, that's due. 
if you've had sex outside of marriage, if you've gotten drunk, all these things are sin before God and we need forgiveness. And this is why Jesus, He said, to repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. When Jesus came preaching the first time, 2,000 years ago, He said, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand and we are closer today than we've ever been. Because Jesus Christ, who opened the doors to the kingdom of heaven, He came the first time to open the door, the next time He comes, the doors will be closed. Jesus Christ is coming to save His people, but He will come to judge the world in righteousness. When Jesus appears in the sky, you will be on one side of Him or the other. It says, in a twinkle of an eye, if you believe in Him, in a twinkle of an eye, you will be changed. The body will be changed to an incorruptible body, never to die again. And then, it says the dead in Christ, those that are in the ground, that believed in Him, will rise from the dead. They will put on a new body. And they will be caught up to Him in the air. Those that are left behind will face God's judgment. The Bible says Jesus will come in flaming fire taking vengeance on they that don't know God. So those that reject God, those that say I don't need God, they're going to face God's punishment. Make sure you're on the right side of Him. Jesus has His arms open to every single one of us telling us, come to me to receive salvation. Come to me to receive the gift that I have for you. He's got a gift for each and every single person here. It took me 37 years before I finally received that gift. And I know that death is not my end because as Jesus Christ rose from the dead, those that believe in Him, death is not your end. You will be a member of the kingdom of God that is coming. Heaven. There's heaven and there's hell. Hell is a place where people die in their sins. It's a place where nobody comes out of. There's people in hell right now that wish they could come back, but they can't. They are stuck there for eternity. There's no end to the fire. Jesus warned about hell. He says it's a place where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. It's a place where the worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. It's not a place that anybody wants to go. But there's people there right now because they rejected God. Jesus Christ made the way that not a single soul has to go to that place because He paid the penalty in full for our sin. He took the just punishment that we deserve for our sin on the cross so nobody has to go to that place when you believe in Him, when you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. So come to know Him. Put your faith in Him. This world is passing away. The kingdom of men, what we see happening in the world is the kingdom of men is coming to an end and the kingdom of God is coming. Heaven is not just some mysterious place in the clouds. When Jesus returns, He brings the kingdom to the earth. He comes to rule this world, the Bible says, for a thousand years to show us what this world could be like if we did it God's way. It will be a time of peace, prosperity, abundance. There will be no more crying, no more sorrow, no more problems of this world. But what we do with Jesus here, now in this life, determines whether we go with Him or whether we die in our sins. Sin is not worth it. I was one that I, I loved my sin. I like to go out on the weekends and get drunk. I like to go with women. I like to do all these things. But then I started to understand that this is not what life is about. I was getting sick of these things. I said, there's got to be more to life than what I'm living for. And I finally, for the first time, 2013, I got the Bible on my phone. I put it on my phone and I listened to it. And this is where my eyes, my eyes started to open. And I started to understand that what I, th what I thought about God was wrong. There's many people that, that talk about the Bible, many people that even teach the Bible, but they don't know what they're talking about, or they're trying to make money, or they're trying to do something with the Bible that God does not want them to do. They're going to stand before God to be judged. What I suggest to you today is get a Bible for yourself. Open it up. Read it. Ask God, show me. He will show you when you have the desire. God wants to touch every single person that wants to come to Him. And the Bible is His Word that He uses to speak to us, and when we pray, we speak to God. He loves us. He loves us to the point that He sent His Son to die for us. The Bible says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. When we were still in our rebellion, when we were still in our sin, when we were still going out and, and doing things that God does, He sent His Son to die for us because He loves us and He wants to save us. And each one of us needs saving before a holy God. There's nobody that's good before God. Even the priest, even the Pope, in Italy, needs saving when he stands before God because he is just a man and he has sinned like everybody else. So believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and the Bible says you shall be saved. Again, it's, it's a gift. It's a gift that God has given us by grace through faith. 
If you have any questions, if you need any prayer, if you want to see that Jesus is still alive and that He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, come and speak with me. God bless you. And I say this all in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos. He is alive. God bless you. What's your name? <laughs> Where are you from, brother? Where am I from? I'm from originally Toronto, Canada, but I have Italian heritage. I live in Italy now, okay, and okay. I'm just here for today. My name is Anastasios. Anastasios. Yes. Nice to meet you. I met another Anastasios there. I know. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Amen. He's I know. alive. Yeah, he's risen. And that's good. Sometimes the church Something leaves Something that you the... are doing is good. Well, right? by the grace of God. By the yes. grace of God. And I see clear eyes, clear face. Jesus is alive. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Anastasios. God bless you too. Have a good night. What's your name? No? No. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. I saw you looking. Don't be shy. Jesus loves you. <laughs>